Hey everybody, this is Big Dog up here at my warehouse today. Uh, I went ahead and I, there's all kinds of stuff. It's everywhere. Everywhere. Just crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, so we're going to try to do this in categories, kind of. So what I can do. So it's probably about two weeks, two and a half weeks worth of pickups here. Uh, all kinds of stuff. There's G.I. Joe, there's He-Man, there's Ghostbusters, so much stuff. But uh, let's get right into it. I picked this up about a week ago. This is a complete Ewok village. With all the gadgets that are in the bag. So that's 100% complete. I looked these up online. Complete with the instruction manual. They're running about 150, 160. So that is complete. Because I've got the Ewok Village, I've been picking up Ewoks when I see them. So. I mean, they're not the best shape, but they're still, you know, of course, they're from like the 80s, so they're pretty decent shape. I picked up this B Wing. It is missing pieces. Uh, it does open up, the wings flap out, the legs pop out, so not a bad piece. So I don't know a lot about these. But uh, I saw it. I picked it up. When well, I got the Ewok Village, the guy I got it from that had the instructions for the Dagger Book action set. I don't have this set, but I do have the instructions now. So I looked them up. They're about 10 bucks. It's kind of cool. This here. Star Wars. Uh, Vehicle maintenance energizer toy. This is complete with all the hoses. It's just a little piece of set there. And as you can pull your vehicles up and act like you're refilling them or fixing them or whatever you want to do. So, thought that was pretty cool. I picked up this Java Vintage. Now, I didn't realize that they're bolting. He has two right hands. So I'm gonna stick with my story. It was a manufacturer defect. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But um, I have another one of these somewhere. The legs are broken. I wanna see if I can kind of pop the hand out and put it back in somehow without doing too much damage. So, but he is clean. There's no cracks in them, just two right hands. A little crumb goes with the Java playset, which I had a few a uh, few months back, and I sold it. So I've been getting pieces for a new one. So now this is the hookah for the Java playset. This is still factory sealed. Matter of fact, it's factory sealed in a bag, factory sealed in a little bag. There's two bags here. So that's super factory sealed. Now we come across the hookahs a lot. The, the bottoms of the Java sets, Java sets, have the, the base of the hookah, which is a spray piece. And I have somebody looking for one of these and uh, so the guy got this off this village and all the Star Wars stuff of uh, had asked him uh, if he had extra parts and pieces and he happened to have the piece that I needed. So we worked it out and I already sold this. So as soon as I see the kid, he got it. So that's going to be it for the Star Wars for now. I got more somewhere. I just don't know what I do with it. And I got tons of stuff to go through still. So, um, same kind of had a Star Wars. 
had all this GI Joe stuff. Now, these are uh, parts for Cobra Teradome. These are the doors. So a lot of times the clips are broken. Only one or two of these doors have broken clips. The rest are in really decent condition. So I picked up all them doors. And this is the GI Joe command station. And it's missing parts. It's missing another side that goes over here. It's missing some intricate parts throughout, but uh, I have a buddy that's got some parts. I have some parts, and I have another guy that has some parts. So we're gonna try to, my one buddy's gonna fix up his, make sure he has all the parts to complete his, and then anything left over that I could use probably gonna come to me. So that was a good $10 pickup. The doors was a good $10 pickup. So when I saw it, I had to have it. Getting into, this is, went to a vehicle I sold. It was a front plate and I never, never put it in there. Oh well, I have another one anyway. Um, this is the Cobra Hiss, original Cobra Hiss. Which I have the new reissue one in the box too, but uh, this is the original. Not bad shape. He's got his gun up top. He does have his uh, hatch door. Uh, he is missing other things, missiles and stuff. But and again, these are these are from the '80s, so you, I mean, you got to look at it that way. '80s, '90s. This here, Sergeant Slaughter's little mini tank. Uh. It's got a broken piece on the bottom side where the see that crack right there where it goes together and that one don't have it and so I'm gonna see if I can kind of get it back together but uh so that that was there had all kinds of little extra parts like these were in the box these went to another another part I don't know if I have it or not uh, so then there's the whale. This was a good pickup. I had that. I jumped right on this. Uh, it does have a bag of parts. The flaps for the back, back there, for the behind the props. It's got some barrels. It's got a couple other things in there. A couple doors. Uh, this is by no means complete, but the hull's not cracked. It's in good shape, and just the hull itself, just the hull with nothing else is about a 25 30 dollar piece so by the time you start adding things like like the fans back here and you see they work so by the time you add the fans and the flaps and all that stuff i could probably get 75 80 to 100 bucks on this maybe i don't know what it has and i probably have parts for it somewhere because i have so many gi joe parts i just got them in boxes and boxes so i don't know where they're at this is a 12 inch GI Joe Honda Odyssey. Or Odyssey, whatever it is, Honda, I guess. Um, I have one of these, but for the price I paid for it, I bought another one. So that's gonna be it on the GI Joe, other than this piece back here. I'm gonna talk about this right now, but uh, this is 12 inch GI Joe. It's mainly just that setup right there, the wall with the gun. And you build your own authentic battle scene. Uh, it's a Pearl Harbor collection. But uh, I bought a lot off a guy. Uh, it was a big lot. As a matter of fact, it was all four of his tables. And this was in that lot, which I'll go over because I have, I'm going to do a video on just the stuff I got that I have left. I sold a lot of stuff out of there already. I've already made my money back. So now from this point on, that table is just profit. So, so one other thing I want to get into. I picked these up over here. This is Rambo parts and pieces. That's the Rambo copter, which I have one of. That's a little Rambo kind of little mini jet. I have two of them. That one's better condition. It's got definitely got the rainbow. But uh so that's gonna be on that. And uh if you see anything you want, just please hit me up. Rate, subscribe, hit that like button.
tell your friends. Uh, till the next one, big dogs out. Everybody have a great day.